Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 8, Problem Set. So let's start writing with Question 1. I see that it says, state the commutative property of addition using the variables A and B. So I want to write uh, an equation to show the commutative property, and I know that the commutative property of addition, and I would say multiplication, states that uh, the order in which I add or multiply will not change my sum or product. So I kind of lumped both of them into one there, but I would separate those out. So the commutative property of addition means um, the order in which I add two numbers or variables will not change the sum. The commutative property of multiplication is the order in which I multiply uh, numbers or variables will not change my product. So for this first one, uh, addition A plus B will equal B plus A. And the way I can show that very quickly for you, if A is 2 and B is 3, that gets me 5. But if I switch it around and do... 3 plus 2, I'm still going to get 5. So the order's not going to change for it. So now, let's take a look at 2. Same thing, but the property of multiplication. So A times B equals B times A, because if this were 2 and this were 3, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So the answer of the product is not changing. The additive property of 0 using the variable b. The additive property of 0 means anything plus 0 or anything added by 0 will equal itself. So if I have an answer or just a sample with a number, 5 plus 0 equals 5. It just doesn't change the value of it. The multipl uh, multiplicative identity property or multiplicative pro identity property of 1 using the variable b. So b times 1 is still going to equal b. Just like 5 times 1 is going to equal 5. So the properties listed below we have the commutative property of addition, so I want to show the same, uh, what this equals over here. And it's going to equal C plus 25. I just switched the order of them. And then down here for these last two, you actually want to show what that equals, meaning H plus 0 equals H. So V times 1 equals V. So we're going to slide down a little bit. Why is there no commutative property for subtraction or division? Um, there is none for subtraction. Let me show you. Because if I have 4 minus 2, I know that equals 2. If I flip those two or change the order, 2 minus 4, that's not going to equal 2. That's actually going to equal a negative 2. So they aren't the same very similar to the division piece. If I have 8 divided by 4, I know that equals 2. If I have 4 divided by 8, I know that that's going to be get me something in the decimals or a fraction. So it's going to get me 5 tenths or 0 and 5 tenths or one half. So those don't equal each other, which means uh, there is no commutative property because order does matter for subtraction and division. And that's grade six, module four, lesson eight problem set. Thanks.